Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to make a quick little video showing you some real life numbers of what my Ant Miner L3 Plus is making on NiceHash on a weekly basis. Um, I made this graph over here, and this is for one Ant Miner L3 Plus. And I just keep track every week of my payouts. Uh, I pay out to an external wallet, so I do get weekly payouts from NiceHash. Um, but if you take a look here, it started off pretty good. This first week actually only had six days in it, so it's a little skewed on the total payout. If you look over here on the graph, it would be a little bit higher, but I only had six days mining that first week. Um, after that, you can see that it kind of steadily drops. I'm assuming that's with the difficulty with all the new ant miners released. Um, I knew that was going to happen. And part of the reason why I started keeping this graph is because I'm curious to see what happens when all of the November and December batches are released. Um, I want to see how dramatically... Uh, the profits drop and I just want to keep track of that to make sure I I still am making money anyways I just got a payout today so I'll show you my process of updating this and, and you guys can see some real-life numbers so I'm gonna jump over here to nice hash uh, this is my my wallet that I'm mining to it is external uh, so I do get the weekly payouts uh, but as you can see it shows uh, I'm making 21 25 a day um, this varies drastically it's hard to really tell by their numbers um, it's been running about 16 hours and I've made 14 uh, that was since my last payout another thing I noticed is that my accepted speeds all over the place um, I don't really know if that's a nice hash thing or if I'm doing something wrong uh, but if I look over here at my ant miner it shows that the average has been 500 mega hashes per second and that's over the last three days 39 minutes um, so I, I'm, I'm just curious if there's something that I should be doing if any of you guys know any secrets to keep that that uh, that payout a little bit better, that accepted speed a little higher, I'd love to know. Um, anyways, uh, if you look down here, my last payout was 0.02 Bitcoin. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to plug it into my graph, show you guys what happens. And I'll put that right there. And the graph automatically updates. As you notice, I have an electric cost um, column. I take out a little bit to pay the electric bill every month. Um, I was paying quite a bit for electricity, but recently I, I got some better deals and I'm now paying a little bit less. So now I, I pay about uh, 50 bucks a month uh, worth of electricity, so I just take that out and like to keep track of my real world profit. So when I plug that in, it subtracts it and it shows me my total profit in Bitcoin per week here, total at the bottom for all weeks, and my total profit in USD per week. Um, over here and then obviously the total at the bottom. Now the cool thing about this uh, list is I can update the current spot price of Bitcoin and it updates all my numbers automatically. So let's check that out and jump over here to uh, the Bitcoin page. I'll give that a refresh to see where we're at. And we're at 7,187 so that's that's not bad. It's been jumping like crazy recently. I, I can appreciate that. So I'll copy that and I'll throw it into my graph over here all my numbers update there so you can see that I have made $720 for a month that's that's actually really good I'm I'm very pleased and that's after electricity costs as well now a big part of that is with the recent spike in Bitcoin prices but I can't complain I did a put a couple tools on here just to kind of quickly see how I'm doing obviously we have the graph showing that each week I get paid a little bit less which was to be expected um, I put a remaining to break even here uh, I paid 2500 bucks for my ant miner and this is how much I need to make off of it before I break even hit that sweet spot and then the weeks until return on investment is just the average here divided by um, how much I have left to pay off it's not very accurate because I, I know every week I'm gonna make a little bit less so the average doesn't really work here but I'm assuming it's gonna be around 12 weeks maybe 14 15 before it's it's paid off if if uh, I'm lucky if that's if that's how the market keeps going. Um, another thing that I like about this graph is it's fun to speculate. Um, well, what ifs? What if the what if the current spot price goes up to ten thousand? And that's what a lot of you new miners might want to be paying attention to. So if it goes up to ten thousand, it means I'm making two seventy, two fifty, two thirty per week. Now, if we uh, get crazy and we get like Richard Branson status and get up to five hundred thousand per Bitcoin. And we're making 13, 12, 11,000 per week, and that's insane. Now, obviously, that's all speculation. It's just something fun to do. Um, but honestly, if we get into the $10,000 range soon, I, I wouldn't be surprised. And that's one way you kind of have to look at mining is, yeah, my profitability uh, gets lower each week. But with the, with the spot price of Bitcoin going up, there's a good chance that in the future, 
um, that $100 or $140 a week turns into $200, $250 or more depending on the price. So I think that that's pretty cool uh, with this graph. just kind of gives you a little bit of hope uh, knowing that there's a possibility to make, make more in the future. And that's really what this is, is a long-term investment. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll try to answer them. And I'm going to update this list every week and try to get you guys some real life numbers, especially as those new ant miners are released in November and December. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you need help setting up your ant miner, um, I have a link to the video, my previous video, which shows you how to set it up with NiceHash and run you through an initial startup of the actual machine itself. Anyways, thanks for watching. See ya.